It's 11 points in the last 15 for Leeds now, five unbeaten. How precious, how pivotal could that point turn out to be for your former club? I think vital at this stage of the season, especially, you know, when uh, Burnley are in a, a great vein of form, you know, Everton have got it all to play for, to continue picking up those points bit by bit, slowly but surely. And, you know, I think that's five games unbeaten now, three wins, two draws. That builds massive momentum and builds the confidence up as well. And, you know, there's there's five games remaining now, three extremely difficult games back to back. You, The only way you'd want to go into those games is off the back of a, a couple of clean sheets, and, you know, um, a strong showing in, in the last few games. And that's exactly what's happened so far. It wasn't a classic, Clinton, but could Crystal Palace on another night have won it? Yeah, definitely. I think they had the most attempts, 17 attempts. And if you have 17 attempts and you create that much chances, you at least think one would hit the back of the net. But I think credit Leeds. Leeds defended ever so well. I think having Calvin Phillips is a big boost. Patrick Vieira will be frustrated because you create that much chances at home. But... It stops the rock. They, they'd lost three on the trot and it wasn't good. I don't think Patrick Vieira wants that. He wants to end the season on a high with Crystal Palace. So, all in all, I think, yeah, he'll be disappointed, but it would have took the point. And just um, before we move on from Palace, 11 games now they failed to score in this yeah. season, the Premier League, and both wow. league games against Leeds. Is yeah. that something you need to eradicate massively? Oh, definitely, season? to be fair, because they've got great attacking players. As I said, the likes of Zaha, Elise, Conor Gallagher, Eze, they're going to create chances. It's just having that number nine who can put the ball in there. Too many number nines now, in particular at Palace, want to come out of the box and do too much work. Stay in the box and score goals. You've got the wide men, Zaha, Elise, that will create chances for you. So I think, yeah, that's a bit of a worry for Patrick Vieira. But he'll sort that out for next season, I'm sure of it. Five points is the gap now uh, between Leeds United and safety. Yep. Uh, there it is. It's looking a lot more healthy than it did uh, before Jesse March's arrival, of course. 34 uh, points. They have played the same number of games as Burnley. Three points ahead of them. Five points ahead of Everton, who do have a game in hand. I should point out as well that Burnley play next. If they beat Watford away then Everton will be five points behind Burnley by the time they play their next game at home to Chelsea. So it's very much, when you look at the points and the games to play, advantage Leeds United for you? Yeah, I would say so. Um, I'd much rather have the points on the board than the games in hand. And, you know, when you look at the games that are coming up, Manchester City, arguably the best football inside in, in, world, the, in the world right now. You've got Arsenal, who are very good at home. Um, but you never know what you're going to get from them. Chelsea, again, you know, we're talking about team that are two teams there that are third and fourth in the Premier League. Um, those three games coming up next are very, very difficult. And if, if Leeds get nothing from that game, those three games, then, you know, it, it gives Everton, it gives Burnley that impetus to kind of pull their fingers out and it gives them a little confidence boost as well. So, um, ultimately, I'm, I'm looking at the, the, um, fixtures and I'm thinking, well, if, all three of those those sides don't pick up any points in the next two or three games, then, you know, I'd, I'd much rather have those points on the board, which leads to. How do you read it between the three of them? Yeah, so but I think Burnley are in the strongest position at the moment. I, do, I actually do, but just because they're running there. What for the way? What for have got the most the terrible home form? They're Lost no, 10 in a row. That's what I mean, 10 in a row. So you go there, Burnley, full of confidence, and you think they'll go and win it. Aston Villa, they need performances. I think Gerard will not stand for any performances there. Tottenham away is going to be very difficult, still challenging. <laughs> And then Newcastle at home. So they are tough. They, them games are tough for Burnley. But I just think they've got momentum. And then you, and Leeds have got momentum as well. So they've been outstanding. The run of games for Leeds is really difficult. I think they'll get something against Brighton and Brentford. And I think they only need another three points. I think tonight's point was vital for Leeds. And Everton can't win at the moment. And, when, and Jermaine will tell you, when you're not winning football matches, Steve, confidence is low. Especially you're in and around the bottom. And you're looking in that Everton dressing room. Who are the characters that are going to push them forward? I'm not sure. And they need Calvert Lewin back as soon as possible. Even though he's not been scoring goals, he's the his focal presence. point. And his presence around helps the others around. So I do worry for Everton, but there's going to be lots of twists and turns. And you can't predict it now. You can also tell us about the, the power of Goodison Park, though, mm. uh, Jermaine. Because mm. the away form for Everton, the worst in sure. the Premier League, just mm. six points. So those three games, Chelsea, Brentford and Palace at Goodison, are they the ones that are ultimately going to either relegate them or keep them up? Um, I think that Watford away is is a, a going to be a pivotal game as well, a pivotal moment in in Everton's season. I think that's a game that they have to absolutely have to pick up three points to stand any chance of of staying in the Premier League. 
if they don't do that there, the Brentford game, the Palace game, mm. and the the Arsenal game, I, I can't see it happening. You know, there's a lack of characters, a lack of leadership. They don't score enough goals. They concede far too many goals. They're not they're not playing like a, a team, like a tight knit unit together. So, you know, when you've got you've got all of those things and you put them all together, it just spells a recipe for disaster. You know, the bright spot for them, Evan, is Gordon. I will yeah. say that a young man who's come in and he plays with no fear. I thought against Liverpool, he was outstanding. To be fair, he was the only one you're looking who's going to take the team forward and try and create something. You need more players in and around that with the experience they've got. Because if they go down. So it's a hard division to get out of the championship mm. and you, you just worry forever and with the money that they spent and they brought in on players it's a hard job for Frank Lampard and if Rafa Benitez went in at the start he didn't do well enough didn't really have a lot of money to spend to be fair he inherited a lot of players spent wisely on Damari Gray and Andrew Townsend who have done ever so well for them at the start of the season but it's a struggle now and you worry who are these characters and leaders that are going to get them over the line Cause, and you're right, though, the home form is important. I was at the last home game it's against amazing, Leicester, sure. and the atmosphere mm. was unbelievable. It was those fans that got them that equaliser, equaliser and they're going to need them from now to the end of the season.